In the heart of Africa lies a continent of diverse cultures and captivating landscapes. Beckoning passionate explorers to embark on a journey of discovery. Join us as we unveil the hidden gems of Africa, a land blessed with rich heritage and natural wonders. For those setting foot on African soil, the vibrant cities offers an immersive sensory experience where new arrivals dive headfirst into the tapestry of African culture that reflect the sense of Africa. In this coastal region, where the Indian Ocean meets the land, the Bandari Maritime Academy stands as a beacon of hope. Parade! Right, son! Dismiss! Well. Against all odds, the Academy empowers young aspiring captains from humble backgrounds allowing them to shape their own destinies. The academy um, is currently the only government institution registered to train on maritime skills and for the brew economy, to provide the labor needed for the brew economy, um, which is um, the next frontier for economic development in this country. And um, the academy trains high quality, high standard graduates uh, who are shunned out to serve in ships and um, other value chain. Yes, starboard five. Say starboard, sir. Starboard five, sir. Meet John Jeffer, a student of nautical science and a passionate seafarer with an unwavering dream of becoming a captain. It takes about a minimum of about uh, seven years, uh, seven years, maybe two, uh, ten years, depending how quickly you can be able to pass your examinations and you can be able to also uh, get your sea time. So sea time has been a very great problem to us, but these days uh, we are talking to various companies and they are able to observe our cadets, so that is, has been the biggest problem. Born into a humble fishing family in Kilifi, John Jeffa developed a profounding fascination with the ocean from an early age. Envisioning a life of commanding mighty ships and exploring the world beyond. As he helped his father repair fish nets, his dream transcended the confines of the village. My father had no school fees and enough money to take me to college because the, um, the family was big and in, I had other siblings who also wanted to go to school and my father had that no opportunity to take me to school. My passion to join nautical science was majorly about the curiosity, how the vessels work, how they operate, how those large metallic structures 
float on water. And another thing is because I used to see them at the sea and how they make those some signals, the lighting during the night, they, made, they fascinated me to learn more about them. My dream was to become a captain. However, his dream seemed distant within the grasp of poverty. Is that uh, training for the sector is very expensive. And um, uh, therefore, you'll find uh, most of our students who come from very hyper backgrounds are disadvantaged because they're not able to pay fees. Um, the academy negotiated with KMA to provide some funding through what we refer to as MedFund, but it is grossly inadequate. And therefore, um, it's a pressure for us when we have uh, institutions that come up to support uh, the training uh, of our students. Um, at the moment, we have very major fee balances in this academy. Fee balances upwards of 30 million. Uh, and we are unable to set them away. So uh, for the chemistry to deal with the issue of the fees is a, is a major uh, milestone uh, for us. Okay. Uh, Mombasa VTS, Mombasa VTS, this is MV Bandari, MV Bandari, currently proceeding to the port of Mombasa and our ATA will be 10.30 hours. John's dreams begin to take shape as he set sails on his first voyage. The vastness of the ocean and the weight of the responsibility on his shoulders becomes simultaneously accelerating and daunting. We have two ways of uh, becoming an officer, then ultimately become a captain. One, we have upgrading and academic. For upgrading, it means that you go to sea for 36 months, then you go to college for one year, then if you pass your examination, then you get class three. That is an officer of the watch. Uh, after that again, you go back to sea again for 24 months, uh, after you come back again, if you pass your exam, then you are given uh, the chief mate certificate or class two. Yeah. Then after that again, you will go back to sea again for another uh, two years. Then you come and do your orals at the Kenya Maritime Authority and or any other area where you are in another country uh, so that you are given uh, class one that is to become a master of the ship. I will feel like it's a dream come true for me to be called a captain and to make my, me proud and as well as my family, especially my father. Through its visionary approach, the Kenya Marine Fisheries and Social Economic Development Project identified talented students from impoverished families and grants them scholarships to pursue maritime education. I thought that finishing the certificate level was the end of my studies. I never had any plans to continue with the diploma level because I knew exact I knew what was going on at home and there was no enough money to take me to college and Bandari it's expensive the school fees is expensive I first heard about camps fed from a friend she was applying for the scholarship program and told me that I should apply for the School, for the scholarship and to study the diploma level because I was waiting to finish my certificate level and go back home and start to, to hustle. But she told me that she would try, maybe, maybe I might get the chance, but I should just try and see what this might lead me to. So I tried and I applied after some months, I think four months, I got a message that I should attend the maritime offices at Malindi for the briefing and a little meeting so that we can be told what we are supposed to do, what papers we are supposed to carry so that we can be inducted into the program.
By 2025, we are anticipating to have reached around 20,000 households that they have been benefited. So because the project is on a rolling basis, we are hoping that by that time we'll have reached our target. Um, Bandari, this is uh, Mombasa VTS. Mombasa VTS. Uh, can you confirm your current position in longitude and latitude? Ava? In a world where dreams seem out of reach, one man's unwavering dedication shines through. Captain Okeri. We'll be navigating through the Turkey Channel, uh, whereby I expect you uh, to be able to identify various vessels, yeah, and then also take action. Then be able to identify various lights, that is uh, the lateral marks, uh, channel boys, uh, so that we can be able to take an action as well. Uh, so far, the radar is on standby, and uh, we cannot see any distress signal. I started far back in 1984 as a cadet, and working with the Kenya Railways uh, on their ships. Uh, I rose through the ranks, and then I became uh, I started with the second officer, then I became a chief officer, and then uh, lastly a captain. Then I have worked on tanker ships, I've worked on container ships as well. Yeah. When working as a captain, uh, my duty is to make sure that uh, uh, the ship is in ship shape, that is, uh, has to be clean and ready uh, to discharge the services required at any given moment and also uh, ensuring that uh, uh, the crew, uh, uh, the crew's welfare is well taken care of, uh, and also to see that uh, uh, the vessel uh, is ready for all aspects of inspection and survey, uh, so that uh, she can be seaworthy uh, for the purpose intended to be. A veteran mariner with accredited 37 years of experience has embarked on a remarkable mission to transform lives through the power of education and boundless wonders of the sea. I've been uh, doing around uh, the Cape of uh, Good Hope all the way to West Africa and then all the way uh, to the east uh, to Madagascar, to UAE, and uh, some parts of Europe. Uh, but uh, the longest time that I stayed at sea, I can remember, is uh, when I finished about uh, 10 months. Uh, and when I came home, I, my family was really missing me. I take like, uh, if I take nine months, then I have to come back and stay home for about uh, two, three months. And then after that, I can go back, but always I maintain communication all the time uh, when I'm away. Previously, it was a bit difficult uh, because we could not be able to communicate, uh, maybe either through Skype and uh, telephone also was very expensive uh, because uh, one minute was about uh, two and a half dollars, which was very expensive. Yeah. Captain Okeri is a true legend in his own right. He has mentored countless captains, sharing his expertise and shaping the future of maritime navigation. Uh, currently, um, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing back to the community uh, what I've learned at sea, that is uh, teaching uh, the cadets, yeah, and uh, probably doing a few consultants here and there. Uh, but later, alone again, you know, once a seaman, Always a seaman. <laughs> I'd have to go back to sea again just uh, to remind myself, yeah. But his true calling lies in opening the doors of opportunities to those who have never dreamed of setting foot on a ship. In the maritime industry, uh, they are lacking a lot of officers so far because those who used to work from Europe and other areas, they find that now the salary are back at their home and the salary at sea are more or less at bar, so they don't find it uh, easy for them, interesting to come to see. 
Uh, so I can say that uh, without any fear of contradiction that uh, uh, the maritime ministry is quite open, uh, all to depend on hard work of, for the students and discipline. After graduating into my course, to my career, I want to join into the blue economy, into the shipping industries, into the Kenya fisheries, so that they can help me lift me to become a captain like the dream I've always wanted. Training in this field has an aspect of assurance of employment. The demand for labor in the shipping sector is very high. Um, in the last research which was done, the demand for employability at sea was upwards of 400,000 across the world. And Kenya has been targeted as a a very good source of labor because Kenyans are hard working and importantly is that they communicate in clean English which is a language of what we refer to as the maritime language. As we journey back in time we witness Captain Okeri's own humble beginnings with unyielding determination and thirst for knowledge he mastered the art of sailing and charted a course towards greatness. We have trained about uh, uh, about nine about uh, about ninety students uh, who are in various places now, taking their sea time, and others have got employment here and there. Uh, our major challenge uh, as an academy is what we refer to as sea time opportunity. Sea time because the students require to go to sea for a certain minimum period of time. Like the way we have uh, the freight hours for aircraft, we also have sea time at sea. Once they have that minimum sea time, which is about nine months, then they're able to get employment at officer's level. Uh, we have negotiated with many shipping lines, um, and we are now getting many more opportunities for our young people to go out to sea and uh, where they are able to serve. But Captain Okiri's impact extends far beyond the classroom. As a mentor, he becomes a guiding light for those who yearn to conquer the waves. Through his mentorship, he not only impacts academic knowledge but also cultivates resilience and self-belief. We have those uh, uh, people who have been in the sea for a long time but in lower cadres, they have gained some experience that uh, they want to come up. Uh, then they can start from if they generally the qualification required is a C, uh, C, C plus and above, yeah. Uh, but also we'll have a cluster of mathematics and uh, science subjects. When the Kenya National Shipping Line takes full uh, throttle in terms of uh, an employment agency, uh, then they are going to work with the Badari Crossway so that Badari is going to be their source. Uh, of that labor. But importantly is that even as we talk, all those shipping lines which require staff, um, we, are, we are now getting communication from them about these employment opportunities. And the government, uh, through the Ministry of uh, Mining and Brew Economy, uh, Fisheries and uh, Maritime and, and uh, Shipping, uh, is working very closely to build networks uh, with the shipping lines across the world so that our graduates here do not stagnate uh, immediately they graduate then they are able to go out and obtain employment. Where academic pressure threatens to capsize dreams, in the face of such challenges, Captain O'Kerry's unyielding support empowers these young scholars to conquer their fears. Uh, this is uh, MV Bandari. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, when I'm three miles from the pilot ground, I'll let you know. Over. For Culture Quest, I'm Levis Msumba.